Um, and then after your fundraiser dinner, which was very well attended, by the Thank way, you. congratulations. It was, you know. Yeah, we even had the mayor of Prescott. Back. Yeah, he was there. It was and, very nice. Um, Matter of fact, and I mentioned, you know, I talked to him afterwards, and, and he said he wanted to be here to welcome the guests, but he's pretty strict about it. He doesn't endorse in primaries either. So, good. Um, well, that's good. So, um, but recently in the Arizona Republic, you were kind of smacked with an article by Lori Roberts, you know, where she called you. The kookification and, yes, article? You and some others, you know, kooks and stuff. And um, Well, there, we were all conservatives. And um, see, this is the problem with the mainstream media. Anybody who has a fiscal conservative or strong immigration stance, they will go after you in the media because they don't like us. And, you know, I'm... I'm just somebody who's really strong about not spending taxpayers' money. I don't go along with the lobbyists when they come down and want to spend more money. I want accountability in our agencies. I'm on appropriations, government reform, finance, and education. I had a really hard load, and I saw what was going on, and we want to make them accountable. That is our job down there. Mm -hmm. um, and then afterwards, Andy Tobin came out with a pretty strong letter supporting all of you that were mentioned in that. Um, in that cookification article. Supporting us, not yes, uh, support supporting Lori Roberts? <laughs> really? No. Oh. Yo, he came out well, the that's very good strong. For Andy. You that's know, good. And, and when I asked him about that, he said, well, he said, somebody needed to stand up for the Republicans. And he said, and that was totally improper for the Arizona Republic to allow an article Well, especially like that personal written. destruction. Uh -huh. That was a typical personal attack. And also, it was not true. She lied about the, in fact, the letter I read on the floor regarding a substitute teacher's experiences in the classroom in Glendale were absolutely, she said that that was fictitious. The guy, I've met the guy, it was true, he was a, this, the teacher there, what happened happened to him, and I had hundreds of letters from teachers all over Arizona stating that they had similar experiences in their classrooms that go out of control with, with Spanish-speaking students who who don't, you know, really respect their teachers and the learning process. And that's something that we, you know, that we need to address. We can't continue to throw things under the carpet. So do you think that Republicans as a whole should be respectful of each other even while they're campaigning? Absolutely. I have not taken out any kind of personal attacks on my opponents. Um, what I'm comparing myself with is our, con our conservative record. And if you look at the scores, the scores don't lie. Mm -hmm. You know, the votes don't lie. But, you know, I was there yesterday, mm, Saturday, sorry. These days are getting all mixed up mm -hmm. for me. And, you know, I mean, I heard you stand up there and say, Andy Tobin's a chicken, you're going to take out a wanted poster. Oh, I was Aren't those personal attacks? We were at a rally. And frankly speaking, every time we have a debate set up, he's not shown. We have the Republican Highway 69 Club today. He was tentative, he's not showing. Hopefully he'll show up on Tuesday at New River. And I would I was teasing. I said, I'm getting ready to. That doesn't yeah. mean you're doing that. Right. So I was joking. And I'm saying but honestly speaking, every one of the county and LD meetings up here have been cancelled until after the election. What is that about? We have ours every month, regardless. And we bring everybody in and every candidate gets the opportunity to speak. The fact that I have not been able to be able to address the PCs or the, the party up here with Andy is really egregious. I've been able to only speak once. Everything was, you know, pretty much canceled. Yeah. I checked with Malcolm Barrett about that and um, and he said that, um, that you know, I should find the email. He, basically, he said that Andy had nothing to do with any of that. He was never he never requested that anything be canceled or changed. And um, but you did kind of apply that at the rally yesterday. Well, I'm not but, saying Andy did that. Well, Malcolm has his favorites. It's not me. <laughs> no, I mean let's face it. You know, um, you know because of redistricting, this is now my district. Right. And there are some people here that think, well, why why should she run? Well, I'm running because I want to give people here a choice over what, you know, why wouldn't you want to shake things up and give choices to people? That's why I'm running, mm -hmm. you know? So, and then you also made another comment that, um, where you were talking about your endorsements. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so why don't you, I mean, who, Oh, I made my, oh, the reason was because Andy took out a piece, a mail piece. You haven't seen it? 
No, I haven't. Okay. Well, he took out a mail piece basically saying all of his endorsements mm -hmm. and no, no, no with my name on it. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I made those comments. I'm endorsed by very solid, conservative, um, you know, really good border security people like Joe Arpaio, who want to uphold the law, like Russell Pierce and others that, you know, have come out and in endorsed me. But they're not your insiders. The Chamber of Com Commerce is now run by a guy who is a Napolitano supporter. And all the big health insurance companies are on that board who want the health care exchange that I am dead set against. Those are the, and the unions are the people that he's been endorsed by. So those, that's why I made those points. I just got that hit piece right before I spoke and I was looking at it. What, which piece? The one oh, that Andy oh. sent out with all his endorsements and then saying that I voted no on, on something that I never voted no on and some other things. So, well, so that's why I was making clear that the people that endorsed me are your solid I'm not going to get the downtown town crowd, the big business community supporting me, because they're the ones that are the pigs at the trough down there lobbying us for private-public partnerships and lobbying us for more money for things that we need when we need to tighten our belt and live within our means. So, this is. Um, but it, you know, it seems like the Republican platform is pretty pro-business. I, mean, I am totally pro-business. I was endorsed by the the the. Uh, the National Federation of Independent Businesses. I've always been endorsed by small business associations. However, because I'm running in a race which includes the speaker, they're scared to death because of retribution. That's how it works. So nobody's going to come out and endorse me because they're fearful of any kind of retribution they may get. But do you think it was really appropriate to say the Chamber of Communists? I always joke about that. Well, you know what? Unfortunately, more and more big business no longer looks at themselves as free market, laissez-faire, you know, conservatives. They used to, they, but not anymore because they're all entwined with government. Big business doesn't know where they begin and government ends because they've got all the tax breaks and they have all these different ways of mitigating their risk on the back of the taxpayer. Mm -hmm. So they are now part of the problem, not the solution. I want to go back to okay. to um, the idea of I guess it would be civil discourse in a campaign, and and it's it's tough. This this campaign season it's been a really rough run with a lot of other campaigns that are doing a lot more you know negative ads. Negative ads you know even I mean I had the mayor said to me that I cannot believe Republicans are campaigning against Republicans the way they are. Well, I think a lot of that is because you had other outside groups come in and do ads that were very negative. I mean, none of my ads are negative. None of my radio, none of my print ads, all they're doing, I don't say n anything bad about my opponents. All I'm doing is comparing my record and what I did, what I stood for. I'm pro-growth, you know, I'm 100% pro-life, you know, all these things. I'm saying what I stand for, I'm not criticizing, I mean, that, right. that's my yeah. race. But yes, you're right. And I think people are tired of the ugliness in some in some races, and I don't think it really is helpful. I just felt, again, those feelings. You know what? Knowing, you know, the the strong letter Andy put out to kind of chastise the Republic, the Arizona Republic, for that cookification article, which he felt was totally inappropriate, and and really sticking up for you. You know. I, some you mean that campaigns. Andy Biggs? Andy Biggs wrote. No, Andy Tobin wrote this. The, I think it was letter. Andy Biggs' letter. No, Andy Tobin Andy did. Wrote Maybe he wrote one too. No, and I would have. I would have applauded him. But for I, sticking I'm, up. You know, for there are some campaigns mm -hmm. who would have taken that article by the Republic and said, "See, my opponent's a kook." And Tobin, and as far as I know, Fan. I'm. I don't know. I haven't seen as much of her stuff as I've seen. You know. But he hasn't done that. As a matter of fact, he came out and he said this was wrong for the republic to, to well, put that Well, if he were to out. do that, he would prove that he's not a conservative because yeah. the only people they attack were conservatives. Right. So but, it would not be saying, in his benefit to have done that. No, but I'm just like saying that. some campaigns would have done that. And, you know, down that campaigning and the gutter thing and stuff. Yeah. But, but so do you feel it was a, I mean, I just remember how you were talking about Andy yesterday at that rally. Andy, and do you think you that know, was appropriate? Absolutely. You don't kill good, solid, conservative bills in the House mm -hmm. after we pass them from the Senate that are tool chests in the liberty 
tool chest for, for voters. You don't do that. I have to hit him on that. Right. I, I, and I you would know, say, I'm sorry. I would say that's fair. But what about calling him a chicken and you know all this other stuff? I mean, is that is that appropriate? Is is that is that what we want in our leaders? When someone doesn't want to come and debate you in public, which he hasn't, mm -hmm. then I would you know I was maybe a little bit harsh. But keep in mind we're at a pep rally, yeah. and I'm with my conservative base. Yeah. And the fact is, Andy's not going to be there tonight at the 69 Club. Karen and I will be debating our, ourselves by ourselves, you know? So, you know... I'll be there. You'll be there. Okay, good. <laughs> we'll you know. So, okay. I just wanted to get that clarified because... Um, I mean, I have no heartburn with Andy Tobin on a personal level. I take umbrage with his voting. And the fact that these bills were killed that should not have been killed. The anti-union bills were huge. Didn't most of them go through except no. for just one or two of them? Oh, How no, many? no, 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 no. No, they were all killed. We had one or two go through the Senate. We had two go through the Senate. They were killed in the House. We had more than that, but we had trouble. We got beat up by the unions. I had We had the firefighters threatening us, me and my chairman. I'm vice chairman of the yeah. committee it went through, government reform. So these guys play hardball. Oh, I know. I and they threaten to run people against us, all sorts of things. But you know, we got those through. So you don't, you know, you don't kill them. Yeah. That's you know, that's all. So okay. Yeah. On the issues, my, my feelings, just feelings, are that that's always fair game. You know, issues are. That's issues, right. I agree. You know. I agree. So personal attacks, I'm not so big on. I you know. I agree. And, however, I must say that I've been hearing from a lot of people that there are personal attacks going on, whisper campaigns about me, by my opponents, saying that my materials were false or falsified. None of them have been. And, you know, and questioning, you know, whether I'm a conservative. So, you know, but saying nasty things about me. I've had people here I've never met before come up and say, I'm voting for you because of the nasty things that were said about you at a meeting. Yeah, see, and I so haven't, you haven't got that. Around, yeah, I mean, I can only meet some Oh, I had that in my in my backyard. There uh -huh. was a meet and greet up in my country club. They did not invite me, and I was thoroughly trashed. 